Serena Yachts is a Turkish company founded in 2006 and has quickly evolved into a prominent manufacturer in the yachting industry ever since. Serena's foray into luxury yacht manufacturing, however, began in 2008 with a partnership with Azimut Benetti, which saw the Serena shipyard help to manufacture the Magelleno 43. After the contract ended, Serena decided to start creating its own luxury yachts to offer. The Serena 88 is one of the most recent additions to their impressive lineup and is the yacht we are looking at today. Before we start, if you enjoy this video, give us a thumbs up. And if you love it, subscribe and ring the bell for more videos just like this. And if you have any suggestions for future videos, be sure and let us know in the comments below. The Serena 88 was designed as a long range displacement cruiser with a low resistance and a sea kindly hull designed for efficient performance. Because of this, she has an impressive cruising range of 2000 nautical miles. Now, I'm not a nautical engineer or a student of ship design. However, I do know what I like and what I don't like. So from now on, I'm gonna give you my honest thoughts and opinions on everything I take a look at. If you agree or disagree, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear other people's opinions on these topics. Just keep them constructive, please. Okay, so let's start with the side profile of the ship. There are things I like and some things that I don't really like. Um, overall, I like the shape of the vessel. It's square and low to the water. It has almost an, a, an Imperial Star Destroyer profile going on. Now, let me break this down from bow to stern. Um, I do like the red stripe at the very bottom at the water line. I think it looks good, but it's not too overbearing. Um, from the water line up about halfway up, the design language for the windows is all squarish rectangles. Then midway up, it changes to a more triangular language. And I don't really like this. I don't feel that it's a very cohesive uh, design language and it kind of looks off to me. Another issue is that the loungers that are right in front of the pilot house windows obstruct the forward view almost completely when they're raised, like they are in every promo photo. This looks like poor design, also because of the square look of the uh, safety rails around the side, kind of looks like they're floating above and out of place from the body. Um, it just looks off to me. In addition, um, in the center of the vessel, the railings are made of wood, uh, detracting from the windows behind it just makes this area look off. I think if the railings were like blacked out um, to kind of disappear with the black windows behind them, it would have been preferred. Again, it's just my preference and that's at least if it was my money. Finally, I like the cutout area um, that highlights the model name. I just wonder how easy it is to clean around behind it. Looks great though. Uh, there's plenty of seating to be had aft both on the saloon deck as well as the flybridge. Speaking of that flybridge, it's huge with a large dining table, spa, bar, and plenty of deck seating. Forward, there are the aforementioned loungers as well as a hot tub pool right up front. There is a window at the front, but it sort of looks like you'd be looking at the interior of the hull at the bow. Uh, so I don't know how much of a view you're gonna get from there. Walking inside from the rear deck, you enter the main living area with a large C-shaped couch with a table between it port and two comfortable chairs starboard. The windows around here are enormous and give a wonderful view of the waters beyond. On the starboard side, there is plenty of storage as well, which includes a large hideaway television. I think this area is laid out quite well and would be a wonderful place to gather together with family and friends. Further forward, the dining area has a large table that can sit eight people comfortably, above which is an amazing chandelier. Tucked behind the dining area wall is the galley, which is on the smaller side, but it's well laid out with plenty of counter space and cabinet space. Comes with a microwave, dishwasher, stove, and a refrigerator freezer. Finally, at the front of the main deck is the owner's cabin, which takes up the entire beam has a king size bed, a desk with chair, breeding chair, and a very large private ensuite. This, this area looks phenomenal. The windows here are also extremely large, giving a wonderful view. Below decks, there is a two room crew area with an ensuite and small galley. 
Further forward are two VIP cabins, each with their own ensuite. One is in the bow and the one is more amidships. These are large, airy, with plenty of storage and look incredibly comfortable. There are also two other staterooms with dual twin beds, each with their own ensuites. I think all of the rooms look comfortable and inviting, and I think Serena's uh, material and color selection is excellent, and each room has plenty of natural light due to the very large windows. The Serena 88 is one of Serena's larger yachts, and while I'm not the biggest fan of the exterior looks, one can't deny the luxurious and well laid out interior. So what did you think of the Serena 88? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like, but if you loved it, consider subscribing for more videos just like this injected directly into your YouTube feed. And while you're at it, check out these other videos on our channel because there's always interesting and exciting things to watch here on Neon Cab. I'm Phil, thanks a lot for watching. See you next time.